Hey guys, Jacques here. First, thank you to all the subscribers. I've now reached 1,003 subscribers this week, so yeah. My clock still running. Now the one thing I want to add. When I go to rewind, it stops ticking. I'm working on a device that's called maintain power. So between, that's where the ratchet is. Clicks. This is how it works. Those are just gravity fed. For ratchets, there's always one that would be in a good position to hook up into this part. <laughs> so there's that maintain disc, then there's a spring. Spring maintain the power. So when I, there will be a ratchet that holds this, and then the spring will keeps the clock going for a few minutes. Here's a view of how the maintain, maintaining power is coming inside the clock. Also had to redesign the side frame to fit the ratchet that holds the maintain power disk. This ratchet here. I tried a couple different size spring. Tried to see if I could find something that I could buy but end up just bending a uh, two millimeter piano wire and I made this gig jig that should help for you guys if you want to make one. It'd be easier to understand when it's finished and installed in the clock but it's in the works. That was invented by John Harrison, the same guy that invented this escapement, the grasshopper escapement. That device is one thing that was missing, so I could design one clock with this escapement, so it's coming. <laughs> the next thing, I need a clutch so I can adjust the time. Right now the, the, the hands are just turning on the gears, but I want to move this, the minute gear. I wanted to move the R gear as well, so I made this clutch. There's two pieces of piano wire that are in a slot and pinches the harbor, the shaft, and that will give me some friction. So when I turn the hands. This is a clutch between the hands, gears and the rest of the clock. So I need to install this too. And with those two things that clock will be done. <laughs> so coming soon. 